but guys, <coughs> this is uh, my first attempt at trying to see what the GoPro works, how the GoPro works properly. And if you remember my blog, Cape Town Sailing Academy .blogspot.com, I've been doing recently quite a few blogs on the SAMHSA uh, survey, what's involved in getting the boat all sorted out, inside and out. And what I've also done is I've done the recent blog was all about you wanting to buy your own sailboat and what to look for. So I'm going to use Sean Clear as an example and just briefly go through what I consider to be some of the most important aspects when buying a sailboat. And if you remember, the first thing probably would be to sail as many boats as possible so you get a pretty good idea of what you're looking for. And then to look at the affordability, in other words the cost factor, how much you can afford to spend, and look at the size. And when we talk about size, I would think size does matter in the sense that the minimum size would be about 31, 32 foot, but I think a great cruising boat would be anything from 36, 38 up to 45 feet, something that you can still comfortably manage on your own. So I'm going to take you around the boat and look at some of the key aspects that you need to consider uh, when buying your boat. Okay. Okay, so what we're looking at first of all is the outside of sailing vessel Chanticleer and what the key factors that you want to consider would be first of all the hull so you want to do a hull survey if you don't know much much about boats you want to take your boat out the water and get a recognized surveyor to come and check the boat out he'll tell you exactly what's wrong with it and then you want to look at the condition of the sails and the rigging so the rigging is something I never mess around with because you don't want your mast to come down. As you can see, uh, I get my rigging checked annually. The sails are in a stack pack which protects them far longer. And things are covered, as you can see. The rigging's in very good condition. So those are the important things that you want to look out for. In addition, it's not essential but I've got things like a self uh, steering wind vane at the back I've got a solar panel I've got a wind generator there's a radar VHF etc etc so the boats a great blue water cruiser depending on what you want to do um, if you just want to sail around the bay you don't obviously need a boat this size but if you want to do some long distance cruising and you want to cruise in comfort then this is what you're looking for once again here we are we are looking at the cockpit, you can see the binnacle, the compass, it's a central cockpit so it's nice and safe as opposed to a boat where the cockpit's at the back and quite open exposed to following seas etc. And as you can see from Chanticleer I've rigged everything so that all the lines and the sheets come back into the cockpit. On the starboard side we've got the topping lift and the main halyard and the staysail halyard the luff 3, the luff, the reef 3 and the outhaul and on the port side we've got the kicker we've got reef 2, luff 2, reef 1, the jib halyard and the genoa halyard so it makes it so much easier for me when I'm sailing on my own for example or shorthanded to be able to control the boat from, from the cockpit without having to go forward in heavy seas so as we're coming down the companionway you can see on our port side this is the saloon area in front of you we've got the chart table with the life vests and life jackets etc underneath there's the radio VHF uh, depth finder my HF radio is being repaired at the moment this is the skipper's cabin so if I've got lots of crew this is where I sleep it's quick and accessible to get to the to the top if there's an emergency and then we've got on the starboard side we've got the galley with the two plate stove and oven a fridge and leading to the back we've got the aft cabin 
So I've made this, this used to be a, a bunk, but I've converted this into storage space. Quite useful. Put in this door. And as we go into the off cabin, it gives you a pretty, pretty good idea of the spaciousness of the back. Okay? With shelving, uh, etc. But considering when you're buying a boat, one of the most important aspects is the engine. How accessible is the engine? Now the beauty of this boat is that I've got these two panels, four panels on this starboard side, and they come out quite easily. We walk around the companionway and we come into the skipper's cabin. You can see here we've got another panel which comes out very easily. So the engine is very accessible to work on. So just to show you how easy the, the engine is to work on and how accessible the engine is, you can see I've taken the panel out here on the skipper's side, skipper's cabin, and those are the two panels on the other side which come out quite easily. All these panels come out and you've got really brilliant space into your engine compartment. You can see access, you have access to the stuffing box, etc. You can see your fuel filters, your fuel tank, um, your um, anti-siphon pipe, etc. And the beauty is this, I can work on this engine very easily. So I do my own engine services regularly. And that's something to consider. A lot of people think uh, when they buy a boat, the engine's not important, but actually it's very important. So, we're just taking a look at Chanticleer of the from the inside. This is and me standing in the companionway, looking out into the central cockpit with the helm, pinnacle, etc. And up there you can see the wind generator and the solar panel, the radar, spare aerial, Dan Boy, main sheet, etc. etc. Okay. So we're coming down into the companionway on your port side. You can see there's the EPIRP, one of the fire extinguishers. There's the chart table with the life jackets and safety harnesses, etc. underneath, and the grab bag and the life ring here with the throw line. All the VHF radios, the GPS, depth finders, etc. The HF radio is being repaired at the moment. Get that back soon. There's the radar. And then while we're on this side, let's take a walk into the skipper's cabin. So this is where I am when, uh, when I've got lots of students on board. Uh, engine compartment, one side is underneath that cover. I've got my guitar, a couple of books, etc. Quite, uh, quite handy to get up on deck in an emergency. Then if we come back into the companionway, here on the other side, you can see there's the stove, the galley, uh, the fridge, and odds and ends, safety, location of underwater skin fittings and stopcocks, and the location of the safety equipment on Chanticleer. And going down towards the off cabin, you can see more space. Behind these is the engine, nice easy access. Um, I'm just keeping all my sheets here on the port side at the moment. When you're on a long trip, they'll hang on this bar underneath here on the starboard side. Then we come into the off cabin. And I've revamped the off cabin, built new shelves, etc. You can see it's quite, quite spacious. And this is the old solar panel. I keep 140 litres of spare diesel um, in case we need extra diesel. Then, coming back, let's turn around, there we go, all the way back down, past the galley, there's the saloon, and I've got a board there for my teaching and for charts, etc., quite useful, and radio, glasses, etc., 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 then we come through into the middle of the boat where we've got the heads, toilet, basin, etc. Quite important is the stopcocks down here. I'll make sure that you have access to them so you can see. Then we've got the sail locker on the starboard side. And I keep 
heavy duty Genoa, lightweight Genoa's on the front. There's stay sail, there's a Yankee, there's a storm jib, there's a tri sail, there's a small Jenica, and there's a heavy duty um, jib, number three, and the drifter. So keep all this stuff here. And then in the four peak, space for two people. Some spare water in that container. And then behind behind the mirror is the sail locker, I mean the um, the anchor locker. So the anchor chain, everything else is there. Looking back, that way we can see the companionway as we come down and the rest of the boat.